There are 45 times when sheep are referenced in the New Testament. And of course, when we think of Christmas, we think of the, the shepherds keeping watch over their sheep by night. I looked it up and there, there are 155 references to sheep in the Old Testament. Guess what kind of culture these people were living in? <laughs> um, it was an agrarian culture where there was a lot of sheep being raised, apparently. I suppose if Jesus lived today, what would he be speaking about? Tweets, maybe, or iPhones, or perhaps using some other parable for what he was speaking of, but that wasn't the world he lived in. So he, he spoke about sheep. And so the quotation I'd like to read draws on that. I think these days when we think of sheep, uh, there's a negative connotation so uh, if we read something that is a par parable of Jesus that references sheep, we think, oh, sheep, they just go any place and they're, they're mindless and so on. So I just would like to ask you as much as possible to just let any of that disappear for yourself and so that you can feel into the meaning of what's being said here in these words. Sometimes the, this teaching is called um, the teaching of the good shepherd. He says this, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and he leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him. For they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him. For they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them. But they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. What moves me so much about these verses, and I remember the first time that I heard them, is the simple statement, and the sheep hear his voice. And then, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And at the time, there was a tone resonating in my heart that you might say was the voice of the shepherd that was familiar to me in a very deep kind of way. I recognized the voice. In the parable, it's the voice of the shepherd. It's the voice of the creator, our creator. The voice of the source of life itself that is always speaking with us. And where there is a pure heart and an openness, where there is a turning where we acknowledge our own hungering and thirsting. And then we go to the, 
the source of the nourishment, then we hear the voice that speaks with us. We hear the voice of the shepherd.